welcome to another video. Today I wanted to talk about uh, the program from AMD which is called AMD Fusion for Gaming. I have version 1.0 and I was wondering does it work? Do you gain a lot of frames per second when it's on? Well so I decided to benchmark this program and um, I'm going to show you the results soon. I will be testing this on. Well, let's uh, say what games we got installed on Xfire. Um, okay, we're going to test this on Counter Strike Source um, under the following specs um, 1280 by 1024 resolution. Four times anti-alias, four times and and synotropic filtering, or however you call it. So we will see if this actually works. We first test it. We first test it without Fusion for Gaming, and I will show you those results, and then after. So I will be back with the res first results. So there we are again. This is without. AMD Fusion for gaming and uh, with no overclock I also decided to do an overclock which I'm going to do which are going to be the next results and I will be back with those results um, with four times anti-aliasing four times anisotrop filtering we get an average of 60.661 frames per second so let's check it out when we overclock it what the results are then so there we are again. These are the overclocked results. We're now we first had around 60 frames per second. To be precise, we had 60 points. Well, we can switch. I think. Here we go. We had 60.661, and now we have 79.363. This is uh, the core overclocked to around. Well, let's pick it up. Here, core overclock to 650 megahertz, shader to 1300, and memory to 455. These are results in Counter Strike Source. I think it's pretty neat. We had a max of 117, so that's pretty cool. So, now we're going for the big tests. We're going to test it with AMD Fusion for Gaming on. First on non overclock, and then on overclock. So I will check you out when we first have with Fusion no OC. Welcome back. So now we are. Now the moment of truth. Does Fusion for gaming from, from AMD work? The answer is no. It actually doesn't. As you can see, we now have an average of 56.585 with no overclock we had 60.661 and with overclock without fusion we have 79.363 so there is no change actually we lost frames per second so now we're going to test with fusion for gaming uh, and overclocked and see how many frames we can achieve so here we are again and now for the final Final verdict. Let's see. Results of an overclocked 8500 GT on Counter Strike Source with AMD Fusion for Gaming. We have 78.688. It's going to be a close one. And it was 79.363. So, conclusion. AMD Fusion for Gaming is bullshit. Don't trust it. It actually doesn't work. Well, please note it doesn't work for me. It will work if you have a if you have a CPU that supports uh, AMD Overdrive, for which you need at least a AMD seven a seven series chipset, which I don't have. Maybe that's my problem, but. So for me, I actually use, f actually lose frames. So 
you might want to check it out for yourself. Um, well, there isn't really much to tell mo anymore about this, about AMD Fusion. Uh, so, this is the end of my video. And uh, I thank you for watching, and please comment and rate.